Thank you guys for tuning in to the Dope Vision Experience Podcast. It's your boy Frank Nitty. I'm back for another episode, man. We got this year in wrap up. I got my boy, you know, Wallace from the town with me. We're going to go. What through, up? What up? We definitely going to go through this like we normally do, <laughs> man. We got a bunch of hot topics for you guys that we're going to kind of, you know, go through. And I hope you guys rock with us throughout this entire thing, man. So we're going to kick this one off. We're going to, you know, like we do always, we're going to always kick it off with the top five albums of the year. You know, Wallace, I'm going to let you yes, go sir. first. Man, top five. So, you know, with me. I'm a I'm a, I'm a big uh, I'm a big currency fan, man. Big Spitter fan. So, uh, you know, um, I'm gonna go with my. I'm, okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm start. I'm gonna try to start with number five. I'm gonna start with num- number five, and that's gonna be uh, uh, Benny the Butcher, right? Butcher the, the plug two. Yep. The plug uh, two yeah. is, is, yeah. is is my. Hold on, how to have it have it written down? Let me. Uh, the plug two is my uh, number five, and then. Uh, and then I'm gonna go with my number four. It's gonna be um, uh, uh, Capo. Capo. I think it was the, the fraud department. Yep. The fraud department. I think yep. yeah. The Capo was my uh, was my number four. Um, hold on, man. I got I got I got to go into my uh, go into my list real quick. My list that. Okay, here you go. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Number 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 uh number five for me was uh was Benny the Butcher right that came out in twenty twenty one right the plug two yeah I think yep I had that on my list as one of the ones I thought was one was was a pretty dope album okay yeah yeah uh that was number five then I got uh Jim Jones Jim Jones the Fraud Department was number four right then I got um number number three man that uh that money bag was dope though. The money bag, the uh, yo, uh, the uh, gangsters pain. That's 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 my number three. That was my number three. That was I think, I think money bag came with uh, that one uh, that one uh, Wakisha. You know what I mean? That was that yep. was one of the, yep. the bangers. That was off, a hot one for that. the summer. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the ones off that album. And uh, where I'm at number two, number two, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, I'm gonna go with that that Conway. That Con- I don't know if you listen to that Conway. The Conway to uh lock Makina. Makina, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah, Makina, the Conway. That, yep. Yeah, yeah. That one was solid. That one was solid. And then, you know, I gotta go with my number one, collection agency. You know what I mean? Collection agency, my man Spitter, man. He always giving he always giving us these gems. Every other month seemed like he dropping something, but uh yeah, those is my those are my top five of the year, man. Uh, man, those are yeah. some solid ones. Those are definitely some solid ones, man. You know what I mean? Um, music this year was a, it was a nice little batch of music that were coming out. A lot of different artists were dropping some projects and stuff like this. You know, even though we're in the pandemic, so you know, I'm gonna break mines down, kind of how to, you know, it was in no particular order. But now, since you kind of put yours in order, I'm gonna throw mines in order. Try to. Okay. So, number five, I got with that that currency, the collection mm-hmm. agency. That was a dope album, man. He dropped yeah. eight albums this year, man. It's crazy. I don't know how he keep crazy. up with that. I don't know how he keep putting out this dope music, but he somehow he does. You know, then yeah. again, I had Jim Jones at Fraud Department. That went hard for show. That was a hard yeah. one. That was a hard one. Uh, and then I got Money Bag Yo with the Gangster Pain. You know, I had to represent for the South. You know, that was yeah. a dope album. You had it on <laughs> yeah. your list. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, a sneak attack one that you probably didn't really rock with was Big 30, man. That Big 30 album, you know what I'm saying? That was a really <laughs> I, dope one, bro. I, Big 30, I remember man. you talking about Big 30. Hey, yeah, Big 30. Never... With, hey, and the thing is, he has dropped, you know, right around the same time with uh, Ye and uh, Drake and all that. And for me, that one cut through, you know what I'm saying? It went hard, you know, even though we had the back and forth with Drake and, and Ye with their albums and rollouts and all that different stuff. But I just felt like that Big 30 album, was it went hard. And then, you know, I got my top one, bro, my t- that Nas – King Disease too, bro. Ah, like yeah, 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 that King Disease, yeah. man. You know that King Disease went hard, bro. Like you know yeah, him yeah. working with Hit Boy. Somehow they got they they able to make magic magic together, man. They them boys kind of get together and they lock in together, and they can produce yeah. some good music. You know one of the biggest things I've always kind of gripped about, and most people gripe about when it comes to Nas, is with his beat picking. You yeah. know with him being so yeah. lyrical, he feel like he can rap on any beat, no matter what it sound like. And for him yeah. to lock in with Hit Boy, you know Hit Boy kind of you know. Laid out a nice little game plan. It wasn't a lot of heavy 808s on it, and it kind of real. And he just kind of laced those beats, 
and man, and and Nas kind of did his thing on it. And then I just want to drop yeah. one just little bonus album on you, man. That that Pooh right, Shice 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 season, man. That you know what I'm saying. That Pooh Shice yeah, I heard, Shice. I heard Pooh Shice. I, you know, I never see the last the couple guys you said was uh uh when you said Big Thirty and yeah. uh Pooh Shice. I, I have, I'm not real familiar with they with their music, but I I do hear I do hear a lot about them. So I gotta I gotta uh I really gotta check check them out, man. I yeah, check yeah. Them out. So. Them my, them my top five albums with the bonus album. Even though Shice is kind of locked up right now, he's not able to capitalize on, you know, a lot of that, that album. that he, Yeah, he got locked up, and he's not able to capitalize on the album he dropped. But man. I really like that, that Pooh Shice album. So, them my top five albums. So, man, we're going to move on to, you know, one of these things that we like to listen to. You know, I'm you know listen to all this music. I like to know who's behind the music and who's making this music. Yeah. And so, we're going to yeah. do your, you know what I mean, your two. We'll give it two. We'll say your two. Uh... Producers, the top producers award. We're gonna go with the top producer Ooh. award. I can, I'll let you go first. We'll do two. We ain't gonna go go too deep top in because I know two? a lot of people not really with the producers, but I like yeah, to hear yeah, the top yeah. two producers. Yeah, so you know that's easy. That's easy if we're gonna do top two. That's easy for me. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a just okay. Okay, I will put this year. I will, I was gonna put Harry Fraud number one. But that's that's a little biased, right? That's a little biased because he, you know, what I mean, Harry Fraud, hey, he didn't drop some, 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 some projects, right? He didn't drop some nice ones with Currency, but like I said, with Jim Jones, he didn't drop a couple with, uh, he dropped one with French Montana. Uh, man, he 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 been dropping, he been dropping some real good music this year. Um, but man, I gotta give it to Hit Boy. I gotta give it to Hit Boy just for the simple fact that, uh, like you were saying earlier. Uh, a lot of people been a lot of a lot of, even with me, even with me, you know, growing up listening to Nas, I always put Nas. He was one of the goats, right? Like he got hands down good Nas. But my my only thing was like his production was always trash, man. And uh, I'm mean, not gonna say trash, you know, that's a little harsh. But I'm gonna say his his production. I I didn't feel his production was ever up to par with, with his rhyming skills. You know, they they, they wasn't so. But now with Hit Boy, it seemed like Hit Boy. Like, like you said, he got a good chemistry, and not just that. It seemed like Hit Boy to uh, uh, Hit Boy to not revitalize his career, but but Nas is like coming back, like he's hungry again. I don't know, it's like a different Nas, like you know what I mean. Uh, Nas always, like I said, always been nice, so not revitalize his career, but like he just rapping hungry, like he just, you know what I mean. Like I don't know, like he just, yep. it's like a second, a second, let's say a second coming of Nas. Like I, right, you know, I'm still. You know, I'm like, man, okay, this is this. He's still busting. He's still busting. And, yeah, and, but the beast is now is with him. You know, so it's like, oh, okay, okay. So yeah, that's my. So I'm gonna say number two. You know what I mean? Uh, I, you know what? I, I'm gonna just say Hit Boy and not and Harry Fraud. However, anybody want to put rank them. You know what I mean? So yeah, Bro. that's that's my top two. It seems like man, we on the same wavelength these with these first couple of picks, man. It's like my my top two producers is definitely Harry Fraud. And Hit Boy, you know, either order however you want to order it, man. Them boys been putting some great music out, man. They've been they've been locking in. The thing I think with those two artists, with those two producers right now, is they're able to lock in with a particular artist and they're able to produce top to bottom. You know, it's not yeah. a lot of sending beats and grabbing beats from all over the place. And then you know, guys just rapping on them. They actually back in that mm-hmm. kind of that old style feeling of you know, get with a producer and the producer produce your whole album top to bottom, so you gotta have a yep. cohesive feel to it. And I think those yeah. two producers have. You know, found some magic and they found like some great chemistry with the guys that they work with, and the music that these guys are rapping over, these beats that these guys are rapping over from these producers, man, it's just you know just music to my ears. It just sounds so good, and the quality of the music they're putting out is cohesive. And so yep. you know, a lot of times, a lot of these rappers they grab a beat from over here, a beat from over here, a beat pack from over here, and then they put it on an album, and it's just kind of like a jumble of you know a beats. Like the beats be okay, but it just feel like it's a jumble of beats and it's not really cohesive. Whereas when Harry Fraud and and uh and Hit Boy lock in, you know these guys get it from top to bottom and they make it work, man. And so those it's are my like two a seamless, yeah, yeah. And those are my two um my two producers, Hit Boy and Harry Fraud, man. We on the same with Waylon. So man, we're gonna yeah. kind of you know transition to you know what's been kind of happening in the music industry, and we're gonna rock with okay. this one. Who's the hottest artist of the year? Well, I'll give you you know you can do one or two artists, hot artists, hottest artists of the mm. year. Mm, hottest artist of the year, man. See, that was that was kind of tough. Um, cause you can always go right with the Drake or the, you know what I mean. I mean that could yeah. be like every year, right? Him and Yeah, yep. Yeah, him and Yeah, you know every year they they. But 
Um, so I ain't even going. That's that's the given right there, right? Because they just two of the biggest, the, the biggest artists out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, man, I'm gonna go with. Um, even though I'm not too familiar with this 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 artist music, but I just been hearing them like I, or seeing them like everybody been talking about talking about. Uh, I'm gonna go uh 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 Lil Dirk man, Lil Dirk, bruh, bruh. Lil Dirk. This man's like every I I I, yep. I hear I hear his name everywhere, man. Everywhere, like like I, like I said, I'm not too familiar with his music, but I gotta get cause I, but I hear him everywhere. I see him or they, I hear people talking about Dirk, Dirk, Dirk everywhere, man. So I just just on that, just off of off of what I hear from other people and what I see on on social media and stuff. I'm gonna have to give it to Dirk, man. He 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 got he the hottest out. I, I feel like you know. Yeah, I feel you, man. Dirk Dirk was actually one of the guys on my list because Dirk had basically aligned himself with with Lil Baby, and them guys dropped that project, and he's been like you know on fire this year, man. He's been killing all the ver all the all the um features that he get on. He's been killing all those features, and he's just been going ham. You know him and him and Baby. I think you know Baby been bring Lil Baby been bringing the best out of him. You know what I mean? Because when he go in the booth with Baby, he know Lil Baby going hard. So he you know yeah. what I'm saying he has to come hard when he come with them verses. You know what I mean? He like I said, he tapped in with everybody. He been with Drake. He been with everybody this season. So you know, my two, I would basically go with you know, the guy kind of talked about Lil Baby, one of them hardest artists. He kind of he been oh, yeah. killing it yeah. all year, yeah. man. He been killing Definitely. it all year. It, in the feature he get on, he killed that. One of the craziest yeah. features I think he killed this year was the one he did with Dirt when they did on the on uh, the project with. Uh, Khaled. Uh, uh, DJ Khaled, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that verse on that DJ Khaled, man, he kind of he killed that. That was one of the hottest verses. Scratch I felt the like million this year. my check, but DJ, I yeah. was like, oh, that boy coming. Yeah, and, and then Khaled coming there, keep going. You know, Khaled yeah, with that, yeah, keep yeah. going. So I think that was like one of the hardest verses this year, man. You know, and yeah. then a close second, I had to bring in. I think Money Bad Yo came in, came in with a close, mm. a close second with that man because Yo, you know, he has a very good social media presence. You know, he dropping good music. Like he said, he had that Waukesha going going ham all year, and then he dropped the remix where he put actually put Wayne on the verse, which I thought was kind of hard for him to go back and yeah. do. Because the first time I heard it, I thought Wayne was going to come in on the verse when he just had Wayne just kind of do the, you know what I'm saying, just do the yeah. intro of it. And then he came yeah. back with the um, with the Wayne, you know, with the remix on it. So I think, you know, those two guys mm -hmm. have really been killing it along with Dirk, you know what I mean? With him and Dirk, yeah. you know, Lil Baby and Dirk dropped the, 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 uh, the collaborative project. And they went on yeah. tour together, you know what I mean? So those guys have really been, you know, locked in together and doing some great music. So, man, we've yeah, been kind of yeah. like nailing on the head for, you know, these these couple yeah. of, these first couple of picks. But I know this one's here. This next top is going to really kind of set us apart when we kind of <laughs> go about. So this is what right. we call, I call, you know, we kind of call this the Pandemic Hustler Award. We oh, talk man. about the guys who've been getting it during the pandemic and kind of talk about these guys who kind of like been rising to the top, you know, the cream rise to the top when it comes to this, uh, this hustler war, especially during the pandemic time. So I let you go ahead and kick this one. Now give me your top three or top four, uh, hustlers award. Who you give them to? Man. Okay. No, and no, and no, uh, no specific order, man. I want to say, you know, I gotta. You know, you know, we already net said one. You know, you gotta put spit on there. That man, like you said, he dropped eight projects in this year. Like, come on, man. This 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 man was constantly working, constantly giving us uh, new music to listen to. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be one of the, one of the guys I, I go with. Um, man, it, I want to say after him, after him was kind of like. Ah man, I want to say okay. This guy I'm about to say I haven't been putting out a lot of projects. I he ain't put out a lot of projects yet, but he's been dropping. He's been on featuring. He's been featuring on a lot of different projects. I'm about to go with uh, Gibbs. I think Gangsta Gibbs is uh, Gangsta Gibbs is revving up to drop something after the Alfredo. Right, he dropped Alfredo last year. I think he had 2020. He didn't drop nothing this year, but I think he gearing up because I've been hearing him on different a lot of different features. Uh, he dropped that. He dropped that one with Kiss. You know that was cold. You know what I mean. So I think, I think he gearing up to to drop something early this year sometime. You know, twenty twenty two. I don't. I haven't. I haven't seen anything. But uh, I think he gonna he gearing up to drop something. But I want to say Gibbs is up, is on there for me. So uh, Spitter Gibbs and uh, man, man, that's all I got for right now. I haven't been hearing really nobody that's been dropping. This year, dropping like multiple projects, just 
just uh just killing the game right now. What about you, man? Who you got? Yeah, man, man I'm gonna rock with uh I'm gonna go with uh, Swiss and Tim for selling that uh, versus the Triller. Oh, versus, gotcha, yeah, man. they sold versus the Triller, man. Then they hit the IPO. You know, this IPO gonna hit them. They gonna they gonna basically capitalize off something that they built within a two year span. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, yeah. 2020. You know, versus took over the internet. You know, when we ain't had nothing yeah. to do, we had versus yeah. to look forward to, and then they actually progressed it where they went to Apple, and then now they went to, and sold it to to Title. I mean, sold it to Triller. So they've been able to give IPO and then give some of the shares back to the people who were part of it in the beginning. So I think that's a real boss up hustler move. Yeah. Um, again, yeah. like you, you know, I want to I want to give you know a, a hustler award to currency. You know, currency put in that work this year. You know, we can't let that go unnoticed. You know, this guy put yeah. in eight projects, man. Like eight, you know, solid projects, bro. Like. Yeah. I've never seen an artist kind of, you know, flood the market with that much music besides like Wayne and Gucci back in the day. You know, man, he went on yeah. a crazy run and shit, just dropping some solid music, man. And, and I'm pretty sure he has more to come. And a lot of mm -hmm. artists, you know, might need to take heed of what he's doing and kind of stay in the, you know, in the public eye, kind of dropping the music. He was doing it like once every couple of months, he's just dropping projects, you know what I mean? And he just dropped yeah. his latest one. So, you know, he he's definitely kind of been putting his work in. And then, like my last one, I want to kind of uh, give a shout out to you know Jay. Jay Jay did a big thing this year. I don't know if a lot of people have seen him, but he sold you know a part of Ace of Spades to Hennessy. You know to the Hennessy company, he sold Ace of Spades to Hennessy, and yeah. he sold a portion of the title to Square. So you know, I mean, there's just some some there's some hustler moves. You know, I mean, kind of moving you yeah. know moving in his own lane. You know, he's a, probably one of the best businessmen that's kind of in the industry, and a lot of other people look up to him for you know his business acumen and with the things that he do in the business. So I believe he really kind of like set himself apart when he sold those two two businesses and kind of really made some money because he bought little to nothing in those companies and turned around and made a, a nice huge profit on it. So definitely, that's one thing. And then I like to give one bonus one to the guy, you know what I'm saying, that South legend, Boosie ah. man, for producing his own movie. <laughs> <laughs> and selling, he said he sold a million up front on the move, and it only cost him a couple hundred thousand to make it. So, you know, he's one of the, the internet's villains. You know, they always yeah, trying to cancel hey. him on the internet. You I know, love Bruce grandma would take his account it. now. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So for him to kind of go in there, produce his own movie, and then yeah. kind of make you know make that money back right off the rip. You know what I mean. So that was a big Boosie hustle move for man. him. Boosie, yeah, man, be rolling, man. Hey, I got one more, man, because I, I was keeping it on music. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, know he was. Man, I got it. So uh, one more, I got to give it to 50. I got to give it to 50. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because 50, 50 dropping them shows like mixtapes, man. Yes, sir. So yes, he sir. hit me back to back with the, okay, I'm going to drop BMF. Then when, with the season finale of BMF, I'm going to hit you on the same night with the season premiere of uh, the Ooh, Book of Ghosts. Uh, you know yep. what I mean? So, man, I don't know what's coming next. I'm thinking Tommy is going to come because you still yeah, got the show. Yeah, yeah. So... I don't know what he gonna drop with the season finale of the Book of Ghosts. I'm pretty sure he gonna he gonna be coming with another show. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, man, yeah, this man took a took a whole uh, uh, station. Oh, station. yeah, but, he went he went over to the stars and just like had them. They was at the bottom of the barrel when it when it comes to viewership, and he went yeah. over there and lit them up. You know what I mean? And yeah, now man. he got he's able to kind of do whatever he wants to. And I heard that he's also gonna be producing the uh, the Snoop Dogg. You know, oh, life yeah. documentary type shows. We're gonna bring that to life as well too. You know, yeah. so for him to be able to go over there and work with Courtney Kemp and kind of put out all these shows, man, it's like that's yeah. pretty big, bro. And that's pretty big to have yeah. him like one after another. Like I said, he dropped the finale of one show and then dropped the premiere of another show at the same night. Like he's killing same it on night. stars. He's killing same it, night. man. And he's using his social media. You know, dude, he know how fifty years were on the social yep. media. He using that to push. You know, he throw his little jokes in with people and, yep. and, and just, but yeah, he always, so he always keeping his name, his name and his, uh, and the stuff he put out always just, just there out there. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. So yeah. he's definitely one of those hustlers, man. So man, we're going to do this one. We're going to do your, uh, we're going to do your top versus battle as we go kind of, you know, circle back to what I'm talking about, uh, <laughs> circle versus. back to talk about, yeah, yeah. Circle back to talk about Swiss Beats and Timberland. We're going to do your top, yeah. we're going to do your top versus this year man my top verses man is 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 uh triple six and uh ball thugs man <laughs> we got some that funny was, moments that from was, that one for sure we got man, some funny moments from that one for sure that was that was the top one just because first of all you know you got bone you know what i mean bone they 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 uh bone is ogs it's just like just with three six 
right? And, and, and you know they came when busy when he threw the when he when, when oh, they got the water the, bottle, got, got through the water bottle, and they got the scuffling on the on the uh, on the stage and, and all yep. that. But take away from that, man, just the people that that was that came out there. I mean, the boys, the boys got Terrence Howard out there. Spin, yeah. uh, spin. I mean, come on, man. He had Terrence yeah. Howard. Yeah. He brought Wayne. And then Bone brought the uh, original lady that sung. Um, uh, yeah, that that Bone. Mm -hmm. You know, then he brought Easy E's son out to do Easy E's part. You know yeah. what I mean? And and man, they brought what they had Wiz, Wayne on the other. Yeah, they had man, everybody, they, bro. Yeah, that was a good one. Man. That was definitely a, that was definitely a hard one. Yep, that was a hard. Yeah, one. that was so. That was to me. That was out. That was because I didn't expect them. Uh, only we, only thing I was upset about, I think I told y'all, told you on the chat about it, is my man Crunchy Black did hit it, come out there with the little dance. Oh, you man. know he gonna do how, it. You know he gonna. He didn't, he, he but he didn't do it though. He didn't do it. I was like, come on, bro, you got, yeah, to, you he, got to. When they brought little flip out with uh, yeah. the spinners, he supposed to hit it right there. We ride he spinners. Up, yeah, yeah. We, I was like, ah, oh, he didn't even do it. Bro. He do like, it. He do it. It, it kind of yeah. hurt you. Though. You wanted to see him. You wanted yeah. to see him just ticking. I, I wanted to see him hit the. Oh, yeah, that's what it's called, tick. Yeah, I wanted to yeah, see him hit it. You want to see your tick? It was Memphis, man. He do that Memphis yeah. ticket, man. He, he ticket. didn't even do it. He didn't even do it. I was like, come on, man. If I was, if I could have called somebody that knew it, I'd have been like, ah, oh, nah, man. I'd have called him like, yo. Y'all got to get Crunchy Black up there to do it. If y'all ain't doing it, man, it ain't even real 3-6 right now. It ain't oh, even yeah, real 3-6. He, he just know he was going to do it on, on Ryan Spinner. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even do it, bro. A little flip came out, you know what I mean? And, and they kind of, hey, after the fight, though, you could tell everybody was kind of like, everybody who came let's out was calm like, down. Right, man. Yeah, chill, bro. <laughs> let's calm down. Yeah, let's calm down. Let's get it right. Let's do it for the people. You know what I mean? Let's yeah. not act a fool up here. Yeah, I, I get it. I definitely get it. So that's yeah. your top one for the That's your top one? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, okay, right man. What you got? I, since you said that one, I'm gonna go with the other one, man. I'm gonna go with that locks and dipset. You know, what oh. I mean? I'm gonna go with that locks and dipset. Yeah, that locks and dipset. Right. That went hard. You know, I love the three yeah. six and the bone one. That was great. I love that one. You know, for yeah. the south, I love that one. But I also love that locks and dipset, man. And, and just watching, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. just watching them boys go after it, man. And what's the name? Just came came the MVP of the locks. You know what I mean? Man, kids just came like, out there and just took over. Kids, kids got out there. He went back to back and just took over, man. Took over the took, took over, over versus battle, man. Like he it was, was a one was man show. One man show, bro. He was just kind of show. He was a showmanship, and that's what I think a lot of them don't get when it comes to the versus battle. It's all about stage pressure, stage presence, and showmanship, and yeah. that's what he was kind. He was he was killing him, bro. He was killing yeah. him. He like I'm outside. I'm in New York. I ain't in Miami. Yeah. I ain't doing none of that. This New York, man. He he brought it back to like. Well, I always be talking about was when I, he didn't have no lyrics on his on his track. He was like, "Bro, I don't yeah. want no lyrics." He was just spitting, you know. And he I was, was like, spitting, bro. Just was like, going, and on, then man. you know, and then Cam was trying to be all cool, but it just wasn't yeah. working in that setting. You can't you can't be laid back and cool in a versus setting. You got to be amped up. You got to be ready to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to have your jokes ready. You got to be ready to crush. And man, he came with it with that. You know what I mean? Because I think he went, he did the locks and dip set, and then he did the one with him. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, fabulous, you know what I'm saying? He did the yeah. one with him and fabulous, so he he was just ready. He knew how to run that. He knew how to be a showmanship when it came to the versus battle, and I think that he kind of killed it, you know, yeah. this year. You know, so the locks and dip set was one of my top ones, and of course the three sticks and the bone one when they, you know, they kind of got into it, and you know, just bring yeah. back those old hits that we used to hear back in the days, just you know, tear the club up and all that good stuff, man. Yeah. They couldn't even play that yeah. stuff. They couldn't even play that stuff down south after a while, man, because. It'll really tear the club up. Push them off, tear yeah. it up. All them, all them, all them records, mm -hmm. bro. Like they had to ban them records in the club because you really tap, you tap the spot if them, if them mm -hmm. joints come on. Yeah, so yep. man. And I forgot the boy still at uh, three, uh, not three six, but Bone brought out Lil, Lil John. Yeah, he brought Lil yep. John out there. It's like, hey, these but these boys acting up right now. But yeah, like you yep. said, that Jetty Kiss. I mean, that Locks one, Jetty Kiss was uh, like you said, uh, Cam and them couldn't do nothing because after after Jetty Kiss set the stage. It was he set the bar so high, so high. He just said it so in the high, first bro. whatever ten minutes of the show, he set the bar so high. It was just like that, that, it yeah, threw. The dips, it they threw, could never it really. Dips they, dips they could yeah. never get there. Yeah, they could. They, they, they could never, never get there because they thought they're gonna be able to come out and be cool, and be swag. And, yeah. and, and Locks was like, "Nah, we're going for the throat, man. This New York. Mm -hmm. This how we do it. This how we do it, man." He came out to just straight, man. Bars like it did, like you said, and the showmanship, man. It was yep. just they. There was after that. 
uh, uh, Dipset was reeling the whole time. They was trying. Yeah, to, yep. And they, they just kind of like, oh, they got kicked. They got put on their back on their heels, and you know, Cam mm-hmm. tried to come through, but you know, those records he had was hard, but it just yeah. wasn't up to par when how Kiss was just like yeah. showboating, bro. He was showboating. Yeah. He was like he was in the garden, bro. I feel like he went for a triple double, fifty point triple double or something, bro. Like he was yeah. killing. He said the he, as they always what they say in sports, man. He set the pace. He yeah, didn't let bro. Dipset set the he set the pace and Dipset was trying to keep up with that JD Kiss pace and it was just like, nah. It was a rap. It was a it's rap. It was a rap. Bro. And he couldn't. So they yeah. made yeah, yeah. That was that was that was called too. And JD Kiss is another one, man. JD Kiss is another one from that verse. It's kinda like kinda like the, the second second coming of JD Kiss because he yep. I mean he started being put on a lot of features. You know what I mean? Even the one with like I said with Freddie Gibbs, a uh, black Illuminati. Jada mm-hmm. Kiss was hard on that one, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if you heard it, but 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 Freddie Gibbs was cold on that, and then Jada came in with the man. He came yeah, in he, with the knockout yep. blow, like you know. Yep, because yeah. they hopped on it. They hopped on the Yay project. You know what I mean? So they them boys like really showboated, and they got themselves like back in the public eye because they had a lot of albums back in the day. You know, but they may mm-hmm. have gone unnoticed for a lot of the younger generation. But them boys were putting in yeah. their work back in the day, and for them to kind of. You know, revitalize those records and get people to show like, yeah, man, we got bars. This is how we do it in NY. And for them to kind of, you know, step up and showboat and take over the scene, it kind of really put them back in the public eye. Put you know, put back, be put back on like features and stuff like that. Yep, and like Joe said, the price went up. The yeah, price went up, just went. <laughs> Yesterday's price is not today's price. It's not today's price, man. Not today's yeah. price. Yeah, man. So, yep. That's yeah, so up. we'll wrap that one up and we'll move on to our next one, bro. We're gonna we're gonna call this one our wild moments of the year. You know, we have those crazy <sighs> moments in the year. We like, man, they go viral. We like, man, what is going on? How is this even possible? And it'd be some wild, funny moments. It creates a lot of different memes and they last yeah. for a few days on 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 the timeline. So, man, give me some of your some of your top wild moments of the year. Man, right off the bat, man, the the one I could think about is this damn crate challenge. Bro. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, I, bro, this. I was like, why is he? Sp-? And the thing is, after you seen what it was, I'm like, kept y'all still it. trying it? Yeah, I'm like, they kept doing it. Like, you st- they, why you still doing mind, this? In their mind, they feel like they can do it because it seems so easy, <sighs> bro. And it wasn't even like, okay, I understand some youngsters. Ah, oh, you got some youngsters doing it. You know, maybe uh, uh, seven, sixteen, seventeen. But then, nah, bro, you had like some some forty, fifty year old. I'm like, bro. These fools trying to die. They, they trying die, to bro. die. Out there. They bro. gonna die, bro. And them things, hey, it wasn't like once you get it, bro. Once you get up there, and hey, that's you off the ground like a, a good yeah. ways to hurt six yourself. Six feet at least. You up there six yeah. feet. Yeah. And you and you feet. and you wobbling and Rocking. stuff. And they like yeah, you fall the wrong way. Hitting your back, hitting you hitting the, in the crazy. And they were hitting them crates on the way down. Yeah. Hitting the ground, yeah, nah, falling all nah. awkward. Yeah, I get yeah. yeah, that was that was a crazy. That was one of the crazy moments of the year for sure. Yeah, yeah. So that that was that was my uh off the bat. That was one of the uh the crazy ones I I see, man. Uh what you got? What you got, man? Got, oh I man, you know, you know, you know you got the you talked you jumped off with the hood Olympics falling off the crazy. That was one of mine, but I'm gonna yeah. go with the 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 Trump supporter storming the Capitol, bro. That was like oh. crazy, bro. That was crazy, yeah, bro. Like yeah. I'm sitting back, I'm just sitting back watching like these folks really upset, bro. They really trying to they really going to storm the Capitol like this, bro. These folks yeah. really was, they really was, uh, uh, came together and decided, like, look, man, we're going to go storm the Capitol. We're going to change this. We're going to make something happen. And them folks really went out there and climbed walls, broke down doors, kicked in windows, and, like, really went in the Capitol and thought they were going to really do something and change something, bro. Bro, my thing is, it was crazy when I was seeing it. It was like, bro, them, they, they let these people do that. They like, let them do it, let, bro. Bro, like, these boys ran in the Capitol. It was nobody there. You talking about the Madness. U.S. Capitol, bro? Madness, Ain't bro. Ain't nobody. Yeah, wait, what they say? They had like four or five people, cops like, like yeah, bro. Like, and they they in there, bro. They they on the, they on the, the Senate floor, just have normal, you know, Senate Senate meeting talks or whatever. And next thing you know, you got a gang of people just bursting in the Capitol, bro, with their flags, putting their feet up on the desk, bro. They were wilding, bro. Like they didn't know wilding. Like they didn't know it was about to happen. You telling me you just see them thousands of people standing outside the. Uh, before Capital. it happened, yeah, yeah, there was thousands of people. You telling me nobody was like, "Yo, 
Let's 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 let's, 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 let's get the national bone. guard in here. Let's get the national guard in here and let's exactly, shut this down, bro. man. Let's shut this exactly, down. Exactly, bro. Let's shut this down. Like this should not be happening, bro. They they really ganged up, bro, and jumped over the barricades, climbed walls. You know these these ain't some young white folk. These old white these old, old white, white people, folks, bro. bro. These Come old on, white man. folk, this bro, climbing this walls, you. no mask on. They just out there, bro. They like, look, we finna go make some. We gonna we don't agree with what happened. We finna make a change. We gonna storm the Capitol, bro. We gonna storm the Capitol, bro. Like this is this is. They really thought that in their mind, like, yeah, we gonna go really storm the Capitol. We gonna like, change this it. We 18, gonna change something. Eighteen, whatever it was, they niggas did this the Boston Tea Party or something, bro. You yeah, better... bro. Like, like we don't agree. We don't agree with y'all vote. We it's don't believe be up there you cheated with the with the beam. At least, yeah, I ain't saying kill nobody, but they supposed to be up there with the rubber bullets, the beam like, bags, like they were doing. They, like they were doing yeah. the black folk. You know what I'm saying? When they were doing the black folk doing. You know what I'm saying? Doing the, doing the, the George Floyd, you know, protest yeah, stuff. Like hitting him in the head with them bean bags. Nah, bro, bro. They weren't doing they that. Sent they could have sent me up there. Been, they could have sent me up there. I've been waiting on them. Sitting up there been laid on the out roof flat. Hitting them. Laid out flat. They're like 8, 12 o'clock. The pew, pew. Hey, I'd have been laying them down. Pew. Hey, laying flat like the dude on, uh, what is it, American Sniper. Just laying there oh, flat. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. Just hitting them in. Just hitting them. Letting them have them, Picking pew. them off, bro. Yep. Like, oh, it's one climbing the wall. Oh, I got him. Pew. Hey, I'd have been. Yeah, man, they have to, yeah, yeah they let them dudes was, come over there. So yeah, you yeah, I forgot about yeah, you that right now. Yeah, it's crazy. And then like one of my other ones is uh Cormac Brown losing it on the internet, man. He mom was cooking. Did he bro. just did he just go get into it again with somebody? Yeah, he got into it with uh Gilbert Arenas, bro. Like yes. you know, Gilbert Arenas, bro. Like the dude, he he was losing it online for like two weeks, bro. Like two weeks strong. Talking about mama's cooking, bro. He wasn't having it. He get any and everybody. Shannon Shaw, Stephen yeah. Nate, anybody can yeah. get it, man. He he was going he was going ham, bro. He want he want letting he was letting them have it, bro, for two weeks straight, bro. Bro, I don't even know why though. Like, what was what was? I think they said something about his game and about him not you know doing something when he was in the NBA and he took a slight to it and he just let but, it, he just let off on. Him. Right, I, I mean, but they've been doing that for years. So that's why I'm like, what yeah, happened I think he kinda, this year I think he to where he like, was just like, boom. You know what I mean? I think it kind of. I think he got tired of it, bro. And he just like hit his wall, and he was like, look, I'm gonna let y'all have it. Charlemagne, he getting it to anybody, bro. Yeah, that man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna call him. I mean, he made it to the NBA out of high school, so he. I'm just saying he he didn't live up to the to the to the uh, to the hype. He didn't live up yeah. to the hype, bro. He, he lived, lived up to, to the, the hype. hype man. Jordan, Jordan ruined him, bro. Yeah, Jordan yeah. ruined him. Jordan, Jordan did ruin him, man. Jordan came at Jordan the young boy, him. coming at him like he, you know, he had the goat, the goat, yelling at the nineteen-year-old kid straight out of high school. Yeah, man. I mean, somebody should have, somebody should have, uh, should have checked Jordan on that. So I mean, I ain't gonna say that was Kwame fault. I mean, dude is still a kid, man, 18, yeah. 19 years old, and Jordan's a grown man with six give rings. It to him. Give it to him, bro. Somebody should have mentally destroying the young boy. So, yeah, bro, should have pulled him to the side and be like, "Look, you got to, you got to chill, man. This dude ain't a grown man. This ain't a grown man. You know, you old yeah. enough to be the dude dad right now. Yeah, Holler at him yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got any more? Uh, nah, man. That's the uh, hey. You the ones you said was was, was the ones I would have said when I thought about it. not the Kwame though, but I, the that uh the what they call it the the storm of the capital. The storm yeah. of the capital. Yeah, bro, that was crazy. That was crazy. So that, we're gonna wrap that, that one up. Saying. And we'll move on to what we say those uh the top five shows of the year. You know what I'm saying? Your top five shows that you've been rocking with. Top five, man. So I got I got in no order. I got I got BMF, right? Mm-hmm. I got uh uh Ghost, the Ghost Stories. Um Gotcha. I got I got uh um Issa Rae in uh Insecure. Yep. Uh I got uh Man, this one, I don't know if you've been watching another one on Star. It's called Blind Spotting. Blind Spotting. I didn't even check that one out yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm on, I'm on now on Blind Spotting. It's based out of <clears throat> Oakland, right? So, uh, what's that? Blind Spotting. That's four. And I got to go with the OG classic, uh, uh, Blackish. Got to you know, okay. Blackish. Yeah, Blackish you know, is okay. dope. It's going to come back this year for the final season on ABC. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't know yeah. why they canceling it. But, yeah. yeah, those are great. Those are some great shows. I dropped mine off. Yeah. We're going to start at number five. I'm going to drop, you know, Insecure with Issa Rae. We just had the finale for that. You know, yeah. they wrapped that season up. Really good yeah. really good show. Great show. They wrapped for the show up too, right? Good. Yeah, they wrapped the show up. Yeah. Season five. Damn. I think that was season yep. five. Yeah. And then yeah. number four, we're going to go with BMF. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Them boys going hard on BMF. 50, 50 yes, really dropped one of them. He's been dropping them dope shows. Yeah. Uh, 
number three, I'm gonna go with um, a Netflix. You know, one is called You. It's one of those crazy shows, like a uh, mm-hmm. You. I don't know if you check that one out. It's called You. I ain't checking that man, one. Man, it's one of those okay. shows, man. It's like it's really kind of interesting how you know you have a guy who's kind of like uh, he's like a he's sort of like a serial killer type guy. You know what I mean? He be stalking people and doing crazy things. So that was a really good show. Wow. Okay. And then we got number two. We're gonna go with Squid Game. Squid Game kind of took games. over this year. That was crazy, yeah, 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 crazy. Was crazy. Squid Games was crazy. And yeah. then my number one show, of course, gotta be Snowfall. You know, what I mean, Snowfall. Mm. My boy. Did Frank Snowfall Saint. drop this year though? Yeah, yeah, it was out this past year. Snowfall, <coughs> Franklin <Excuse> Saint. <coughs> yeah, Franklin Saint. Yeah, I can't, I can't forget about Snowfall. Snowfall is. Uh, it just been. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, it had been gone for so long that. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, Snowfall definitely, definitely up there, man. Snowfall, that's my man. With Franklin, Franklin Saint and uh, young, uh, young Leon. But my, but my guy, uh, my guy Uncle Jerome. That's that's, that's yeah, my guy right yeah, there. Bro. They going hard, bro. They going hard, yeah. man. They go hard. That's the show. One of them shows. So they're my my top five shows. Like, all right. So with this one, I wanted you to give me your your top verses that you would like to see that you haven't that they haven't talked Ooh. about or they haven't put out. Tell me your verses that you would like to see. Man, I already know, bro. They've been talking about it for the last month, for at least, man. I want to see Jay Z versus either Wayne or Busta Rhymes, bro. Gotta give me that. Jay, okay, I know Jay, okay. Jay, Jay, Jay ain't okay. gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. He's saying, he's saying, you know, the whole the whole video leak or whatever the audio leak came out when he was on the what's that Clubhouse app? Yeah, I think Clubhouse the Clubhouse or something like that. Yeah, yeah somebody yeah, he gold uh, or whatever, and he wouldn't he do it gold, or something can't like that. Nobody stand on the. Yeah. And I understand him. And I and, and once at first I was like, you know, nah, Wayne probably can't stand on the stage with you or a Busta Rhymes. But then it's like I had to look at it again. I'm like, nah. I mean, if I had to. You know, no, can't nobody stand on stage with Jay Z right now because just because how they do verses, you know, they be bringing people out. Now it'd mm-hmm. be hard by itself, right, for anybody to stand on stage with Jay Z. But man, if he brought Beyonce out, bro, it's over. It's over. Like yeah, it's hard, with, but with nobody. But, but Wayne, bro, be, Wayne got them. Wayne got them records, though, bro. Wayne got some records, man. He got a his discography is crazy, bro. He the he mixtape, do. mixtape Wayne. You know, saying squad up Wayne. You know what I mean? He got a nice because you only got to pick twenty records, and I think he got twenty records that can compete with Jay twenty records. You know, Jay got the Empire State. You know, man, he got some records for sure. When that man you come out with Bonnie best. and Clyde with Beyonce, it's a rap, bro. Yeah. Like, ain't nobody. Yeah, he got some records. I don't think it's nothing. Whoever, nobody can Wayne bring out with that. That that would or that or that. What is that? Lost in Love or whatever with Beyonce. Yeah, he got a. Yeah, he got a. It's he like got a, he, wait, look, but Wayne got. Wayne got some records that that's in the cut that I think he can kind of definitely, you know, stand up to uh, Jay's discography because Jay got a, you know he had a big discography too you know what I mean but Wayne was on that that mixtape that mixtape Wayne went crazy mixtape Wayne went crazy bro yeah <clears throat> but I mean but can you can you can you can you give mixtape Wayne that because mixtape Wayne was on a lot of other everybody else's beats though. Yeah, true. true He's everybody true was, so it's cause Jay Z got mixtapes that he was on other people's beats too that was destroying the beats. You know what I yep. mean? But it's like ah Jay, that was just that beat was already hot. So cause whoever yep. made that beat hot and then Jay, you just jumped on it. So it's like, well, that's that's what I was like, man, can you give mixtape Wayne, could you give him those songs? Because just cause of the simple fact, like you jumped on they, the track. They want your record. They want your record. Yeah, they want your records. You jumped on the track that was hard already. And whoever say like the one with Future, and he just jumped on it and and and, and killed it. You know, he just took it and killed it. But hey, Lou, I, I I still think Wayne, he he Wayne can make. I feel like Wayne can make it competitive. Wayne definitely can make it competitive, and uh, or like I said, or Buster Rhymes. I think Buster Rhymes can make it competitive too. You know, no, I don't think nobody want to see Buster Rhymes just for the simple simple fact of his stage presence. Like Buster Rhymes' stage presence would be like. Man, it's hard to keep that energy with him. He gonna be up there with, with yeah. you know, delay with oh, yeah. the shoulders yeah. and all that. Like, he gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, the, the spitter, I mean, not spitter, but uh, split star will come next to him, hitting it with the shoulder shimmy and all that, and then they, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm he like, gonna, bro, that's all. He gonna bring out, he gonna bring out Missy, he gonna bring out Missy, he gonna do something with Missy, he gonna do the records with Missy. Yep, yep, and uh, so Janet Jackson. You know, Jackson, we, yeah. talk, we talking about Buster Rhymes, right? Or yeah, Buster, yeah, Buster. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, Janet Jackson and Mariah. He got a couple with Mariah yeah. too, don't he? Mariah, I think, yep. Yeah, see, so, so he, he got a he got a catalog too. 
yeah, repping all fast. That's what I think. Yeah, that's what I think. You know, people be trying to duck him. I know he called out Ti. I'm like Ti. Ti called that was out a good fifty. Matchup. Yeah, they wanted to match called out fifty, him. but it was like did because uh, Ti was like what nobody in New York want to see me and Buster was like hold up. Hold up, we could do yeah, it. Yeah. And then T.I. Yeah, yeah, never yeah. responded. I'm like, come yeah, on. That wasn't, that, wasn't, that wasn't a good matchup for him. That wouldn't have been a good matchup for him. Yeah, yeah. It would have. So, yeah, that's the uh, – so you talk about the verses I want to see. I want to see Jay Z against either one of those two. You know, you get Lil Wayne or Busta Rhymes. It's not going to happen. You know, Jay-Z ain't going to yeah. – This is for the simple fact because I don't think Jay-Z will ever put himself in a position to where somebody could say he lost. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 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 a, like put it on paper. You know what I mean? Cause yep, you could true. remember when he went at Nas back in the day. You know, it's like, oh, oh, these yeah. people think Jay won. These people think Nas won, but it really was. It was just like our opinions, right? But they could actually put it on paper with verses, like, ah, you lost. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, he ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna put himself in that position to actually get put on paper, like, ah, right, you lost. You know, so that's why I don't think it happened. You know? Yeah, and I think my top one would be A Ball MJG versus UGK. Ooh, you can't do that yeah, one, though. Why not? Pimp C, gone. I understand Pimp C. I don't understand Pimp C. You know, God bless, God bless the day that he gone. Yeah. But you can still play his, you can still play his records and stuff. They play the records yeah. live in there anyway. So you yeah, they do, play it. they do. I just don't so think they have play. that same, that same just that energy. Yeah, Pimp C was in yeah. there coming down. Like, hey, yeah, oh, bro, man, like, the, hey, I want to, I, I love to see, and, and, and I didn't realize how close they were. Back in the day, them, them guys really close, and I think uh, A Ball yeah. MJG versus would be like one of the ones I would. That'd just be for my personal, because I love both of them, and I just yeah. like to hear them play their music and kind of ramp it up and give us all those classic songs, you know, pocket full of stones, all them, all them old records, yeah. man, coming out hard, you know, just them, just them records, man, and then Pimp yeah. C, you know, playing Pimp C verse on International Players Anthem, you know, it's just yeah, like bro. it goes so hard, bro. Like I would just love to see those guys kind of come together, so. That that'll be my top one, and then uh, like another one would probably be Cash Money versus No Limit. You know, what I mean, just kind of see mm-hmm. those two, those yeah, two New Orleans, you know, no two New Orleans uh, crews kind of come together and uh, do a nice little battle. You know, man, I love to be, see, that'd be see Master yeah. P. I love to see Master P on the verses, man, and kind of see him doing, you know, Ice Cream Man and all those old records, you know, ghetto <laughs> oh, dope, some ghetto dope records, yeah. and just, some, hey. just some good records and stuff, man. So be, those would be yeah. my those would be my two top ones that I love to see, man, and just. To go ahead and wrap wrap this up, man. We you know we want to make sure that we give our uh, condolences to the people that we lost this year. Uh, mm-hmm. This is my going too soon, my going too soon soon um, portion. Uh, we want to do you know Young Dolph, of course. You know what I mean young, we, definitely, we wanna, definitely. Shout out Young Dolph, man, for you know losing his life the way he did. You know we want to say rest in peace to him. You know that was the tragic. Hey, yeah, Dolph was, his, his, yeah, he was yeah, cold, you know, man. He, I always was, man. Like, man, back early. When out here in the West, when nobody was really knowing who Dolph was, I was slapping yeah. Dolph. You know what yeah. I mean? I was. It was like, man, who's this dude, man? I'm like, man, this is young dude out of Memphis, bro. Like, oh this, yeah, Dolph, this man. Cat yeah, hard. Dolph. And then, yeah. Flip so him. yeah, R.P. Uh, Dolph Cabana. Yeah, yeah. And then we yeah, want to say yeah. uh, rest in peace to DMX. You know, we got a chance to see DMX in the verses. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. He lost I mean, his life this year, so we want to yeah. say rest in peace to him. Uh, rest in peace to peace, Virgil. Man. So Virgil, man, you know, you know, he was battling with something on the low. You know, one of the yeah. guys who gave those fashion icons. You know what I mean? Dropping those, you know, those uh, those those shoes and just running things up with this with this collaboration with Nike and Jordan. Yes, and then sir. we want to say uh, one of the last ones we want to talk about is um, Demaris Thomas, man. Rest in peace to yeah. Demaris Thomas. You know, the football. Man. You know, one of the legends of Denver Broncos team. You know, win the Super Bowl, and and um, for him to be able to lose his life tragically the way he did, you know, want to say, you know, rest in peace to him. So, man, those are some of those people we want to say gone too soon. Give our condolences to them, and so shout out to them. Make sure that their their names forever live on, and not this in this sure. world and in this industry. We won't let those names die. So, man, we really hope you guys appreciate, you know, what we did for you guys. You know, broke it down this year, this wrap up session, man, and then I let Wallace kind of wrap it up. Give you a shout out, bro. Let us know what you got, man. I just want to uh, appreciate the man, the man uh, Nitty, man, that your boy hop on here, man, to to, to, to do his thing, man. And, uh, man, just want to, uh, you know, go back to what you were saying about uh, uh, a couple things, man. Uh, eight Ball, MJG, man, I remember back in the day, man. Eight, hey, I never knew, uh, 
I never knew who what Orange Mound was, but I knew it was somewhere out there in Tennessee, bro. Hey, just cause oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I always thought oh, that yeah. Orange Mound. I was like, bro, I don't know what Orange Mound is, but it sound cold, bro. You oh, know. Yeah. Uh, so, but um, yeah, man, and uh, yeah, and, and, and all the, all the people that you mentioned uh, um, that that uh, was gone too soon this year, man. Um, yeah, Max, man. I mean, I, I, I already spoke on Young Dolph, man, but X, man. I remember. Uh, Going through the Hard Knock Life tour, me and my partner, we snuck in at San Jose to SAP. And we snuck in, man, and that was, like, the biggest concert I've ever been to, and especially at that time. And just the effect the, uh, that uh, X DMX had on the crowd, man. Like, how he, the crowd, man, everything went dark just with the uh, the big red X, man. And that man came out growling, man. I was like, and how loud and, like, the bass and it was like him really growling and this is how loud it was. It just was like mesmerizing, just sitting there like looking at the stage like, yo, this man came out here growling. But it's, I mean, it just, it just, I can't even explain it how, how like everything with Jay Z said. I feel like on a uh, what was it on LeBron's uh, barbershop show? Oh, the shop, the, the shop. Yeah, when he came out and when Jay Z was saying all that, when he was saying, man, I'm supposed to follow this dude. Man, it was like that. I'm like, bro, who's coming behind? When I was seeing his set, I was like, bro, who's coming behind this dude? He should have been last, you know what I mean? But so yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, man. Um, that's 2021, man. Stay tuned yeah, for man. 2022, yeah. bro. Got yeah, it's gonna things. be a really dope year, man. I know we got a lot of stuff going on, man. We're gonna be tapping in. We're gonna still be coming back to you guys doing these, you know, doing those weekly wrap ups for the different, you know, TV shows that we kind of really think are dope. And we want to talk about it, man. So you guys tap in with us when we drop those. You know, we got a lot of other stuff that's coming, you know, in the 2022 year that you guys really gonna enjoy. You know, continue to rock with us. Continue to, you know, tap in with us weekly, man. We're gonna have some dope stuff going on, man. I appreciate you guys for rocking with us. You know. This is Dope Vision Experience. This is your boy Frank Nitty and got the, got my boy Wallace from the town. Yes, sir. And we we out. Yeah, dear. Holla.